Boss Watchers, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video we're going to be doing Ark Survival Evolved Best Tames and Where to Find Them. Uh, on a couple of other people have been doing this, but they haven't, like, specifically shown where they are. Like, on the map, they've shown the location, but not on the map, which is like, if you know the location, but you don't know where the hell it is on the map, so... I'm going to be doing that a bit more easier for you guys to see. I'm going to be doing some, like, starter teams and obviously the ones that you're really going to want once you have progressed. Um, so let's just get straight into the video. So first of all, we're going to talk about the Rock Golem. And the map location will be in the top right corner. Uh, it is more of a, like, once you're a pro or whatever you want to say, progression, well, whatever you want to call it once you've progressed far. You want to tame them if you're going to go raiding. They soak up bullets, like, so good. Like, heavy bullet, heavy turrets do, I think it's like 5 damage to it once if you've got a good saddle. So, you're definitely going to want to tame them if you're thinking about going to raid some alpha tribes or just some big tribes, then you're going to want them. And if you're in the de if you're in the desert, which they which where they spawn as well, like they are so useful because you don't know which ones which like rock golems when they go into their rock thing when they turn into a rock, it's in the desert. It like all the rocks are the same, so you don't know whether it's a rock golem or not, which is a big help. Um, they're also yeah good for tanking and good for storing loot in like i just said like the rocks yeah um the second one is the griffin lao is just like fast it's kind of easy to tame and they spawn near the rock golems so the location will be in the top right corner as well they can do a dive attack they can like dive through really fast and like they're just such a help and in official servers they're like, like the best things but since they've added mana garms in now it kind of you know i might be doing an extinction one of these as well uh, as well in the future but for now we're just going to stick with ragnarok because you know it's what most people go on uh i'd say it's like medium you get, you need to be gra progressed a little bit like i'd say stone tier but then again, beginners, pro, pros as well, like, still, you need them. They're such a good help. And beginners, they're going to be kind of hard to tame for you, but, you know, you still can tame it. Have a good go at it. Uh, their tour port is kind of high, and the, it does go down fast, so you're going to need mutton and a lot of narco pots for this. Now the third one, which people might be surprised at if they don't even if they've like new to the game or something, uh, and it is parasaurs. Now this you can tame like whenever. Like I, I don't need to show like the location of this because they're like everywhere, and they are so good. They they can collect berries. Uh, they can um, they're kind of fast, kind of, but. The main reason why you want to tame them is the radar. Like you can set it so if any players come nearby or any tames are nearby, it will like make this radar thing, and then you can see exactly where they are. It'll make like a red dot, so where they are, and then you can just go straight to them and kill them or do whatever with them. So parasaurs, I'm saying, is a must-have for all the tribes because. The fact if you're out on, let's say, a metal run, and then you can, you know, if anyone comes near your base, you'll know about it, and then you can just go straight back, like, absolutely destroy them or something. And that's what my tribe right now has as well, a parasol, because they are just, like, so OP. Like, not so OP as in, like, melee damage or that, but, like, OP is in the radar. It's, like, really cool. Um, and I'd say for the parasol, I don't even need to give a description how to tame, they're so easy, you literally can just do it with your bare fists, like bowler them up, or you don't even have to bowler them, if you don't want to, you just run around hitting it, it will eventually go down, and 
Uh, on unofficial servers, obviously, you're gonna need them as well. Like, it's just like one of those must have teams, like, they're so useful. Uh, it doesn't have that much torpor, so once again, you can just knock it out, like, so easily. And it doesn't really go down that fast as well. So, and it does eat berries, just for beginners out there if they don't know. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you did enjoy, please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any other uploads in the future. And we are doing daily, well, I'm trying to do daily live streams because, you know, it's, it's fun. Uh, the last live stream we did was really cool. I recommend you, like, stay on this channel to, like, find out what's going on. Uh, yesterday, we fat base they killed two of our teams we full on wiped them got a quest so they get out of it like brilliant you, you're gonna want to watch these live streams if you do like art content because like trust me it's worth it so once again hope you enjoyed subscribe like see you in the next one and peace <laughs>